<laughs> do I'm, something I'm, I'm to I'm looking at your very sturdy looking <laughs> tripod setup here. I hope it's good. Yeah, I, yeah. It's scary at least. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. Today I'm going to take a 40 millimeter photo walk with my Ricoh GR3X here in Kuala Lumpur. And this area is the same area where my friend Robin Wong sometimes comes and makes his videos. And who knows, maybe we'll bump into him during this photo walk. Let's get walking. No wonder why Robin always comes here or often comes here. It's such a gorgeous location there's the malaysian flag and one of the famous domes back there and uh hey oh, hi <laughs> hey robin what are you doing here what's up i'm taking pictures with my 40 millimeter lens what is that toy <laughs> yeah, it is sort of like a toy camera this is the pentax k01 we have actually the same kind of brand because this is ricoh pentax and Aha. this is pentax and same family. Same family and uh, the same sensor size also, I believe. APS-C sensor yes. size. So, um, talking about sensor sizes, what do you think about sensor sizes? Does it really matter or where it matters, if it matters? What do you think? In my opinion, uh, as a professional photographer, professional. I think professional, professional <laughs> photographer, I think sensor <laughs> size matters in some situations, and in some situations, it doesn't matter. I know it sounds complicated, <laughs> but I can't wait to dive into this topic further with you, Matty. So can you clarify that a little bit? You said it's complicated. Why, why, do, why is it complicated, in your opinion? Well, does sensor size <laughs> matters? My answer is yes and no. Uh, if you are a professional photographer, we can't deny that if you are using larger sensor mm. sizes, say the full frame or even a medium format, uh, there are situations where they can make a difference in your results. For me, I think it's no secret that people know <laughs> I'm a micro four thirds shooter. This is not my main camera. <laughs> no. I use Olympus OMD. I'm, I'm very happy with a smaller size sensor. Yeah, I have one real life example from the past. Uh, I was hired to shoot uh, an industrial plant in Ireland. So me and my assistant, we fly from Finland and we have one day to shoot in that particular plant that makes turbine blades for wow. jet, jet engines, Rolls-Royce <laughs> jet engines. And of course, it's gonna be a very, very expensive uh, shoot for the client. Me and my assistant, we are being paid um, like obscene amount of money to, <laughs> to do the shot and uh, the, the, the shoot. And uh, also at some point at the, at the plant, they have to stop the manufacturing process wow. for a uh, short while so I can do my thing and on a shoot like that I want to have the best possible camera I'm not going there to somehow to see if my camera is good enough for the shoot I want my camera to be 150 percent capable yes. of the shoot because it's going to be a very very expensive shoot for the client I fully agree with Matti and I also think that it is best that you bring the tool that will get the job done that's yeah. all that matters at the end of the day, your clients are happy. On that note, Matty, you have to <laughs> teach me someday how to earn an obscene <laughs> amount of money doing photography because I'm earning, I, I'm living quite an okay life, but I have not earned obscene <laughs> amount of money. We, we have to do that maybe on a different video. But from amateur perspective, the situation is not quite the same because then if you're an amateur shooter, you're your own boss and you can decide when the results are good enough, right? Yes, before I answer that question, I want to like pivot a little bit to a different topic. Oh, I, I was afraid of this. <laughs> <laughs> I personally believe that being a hobbyist or an enthusiast is the best part of being a photographer. Coming back to the topic, whether the sensor size matters if you are an enthusiast or hobbyist, of course not, because you are the one who decides what's best for you. And sometimes, the, the most expensive or the latest and greatest or the most advanced camera may not be the most suitable for you. And sensor size is not everything. And to me, it always comes down to this when I talk to like enthusiasts or hobbyists. It comes down to sufficiency, meaning is the camera good enough for what you do? Yeah, you know what? I totally agree that being an enthusiast, amateur, it's really the best uh, 
uh, side of photography and me I don't do paid assignments anymore and I'm so happy no need to deal with clients I wouldn't necessarily even recommend any more photography as a, as a profession or something when I started it was so different back in the 80s early 80s today the best thing is that you can be an amateur and do whatever you want and cho uh, choose your sensor size and uh, everything however you want. That's very true, Matty. And the advantage of what we have now in modern photography is that we have so many choices. Yeah. In the past 10 years, there are so many great cameras out there, different shapes, different sizes. Yes. We have really tiny cameras to really large cameras to do all different kinds of things. So Robin, you're a micro four thirds enthusiast and user. So yes. what are the maybe the challenges with that uh, format because it is kind of a small sensor format. Yes. Are uh, there any challenges? <laughs> I, I would like to think that I have been shooting a lot with Micro Four Thirds. Mm -hmm. I've been using, using Olympus OMD and it's no secret that uh, when it comes to resolution, we are stuck at 20 megapixels. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> we can't go more than that. Uh, and when we go to high ISO, it's nowhere near what the full frame can do. Mm. And we do have limited dynamic range. These are the main challenges. But so far, for my shoots uh, specifically, I'm doing wedding photography, portrait, event photography, mm. and some lifestyle shoots. Uh, most of my shoots, actually all of them, I've never encountered a situation where my client come and tell me, Robin, your photos are not good enough. That has not happened before. My clients have always been happy and that's why they still come back to me and look for me and I still get to shoot as a professional photographer <laughs> until today. Uh, in terms of until camera, today. <laughs> yes, until today. Uh, I would say that it is sufficient, uh, but uh, very interesting question that you've asked about challenges. Sometimes I do wish I have a little bit more resolution like, ah, know, there 20, you have it. <laughs> 20, 20 is plenty, it's, it's good enough for what I need to do. But sometimes having that extra room to crop, mm -hmm. it can really help. Maybe like 30, mm -hmm. 33 megapixels. Mm -hmm. I think Micro Four Thirds has been stagnating. They have not been making any progress for the past six, seven years. They're still using the same sensor. <laughs> we are stuck with the same resolution, same performance. I do want to see some progress. So yes, uh, there are times actually I think this will trigger some people, but I, I do wish I have a full frame. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> did, did you, guys, did you, hear, did you hear that? Did you hear it? <laughs> First in Mati Sulanto's um, YouTube channel. But having said all that, having said all that, uh, at the end of the day, I think it's the shots that matter. It's the photographs mm, that yeah. matter. And what I have now, Micro Photos, is still sufficient for what I do, for now. So I'm staying with micro photos. I'm not going anywhere, guys. Don't, don't attack me, please. <laughs> please, I, I beg you, don't attack me. Yeah, it's true. Your photography is mostly a documentary type of photography. And in that genre, image quality is not everything. Uh, unlike, for example, in high-end advertising. Uh, what I do, mostly what my clients look for, uh, they're looking for moments. Yes. They're looking for a story. They want me to capture that particular scene or what's happening. Yeah. So being able to capture the moments, that actually matters more than absolute image exactly. quality. Exactly, yes, yes. Matty, talking about sensor sizes, yes. <laughs> I personally have encountered all different kinds of uh, sensor sizes yes. from smartphone <laughs> camera, compact camera, one inch image sensor, and I'm a primary shooter for micro four thirds. And I recently have bought a full frame camera, the Canon 5D, yes. uh, just to experiment. Mm -hmm. But the only one sensor size that I have not tried personally or used extensively is medium format. Really? Never shot? No, oh, wow. I've never had a chance. So being a, a, an experienced <laughs> photographer like yourself, you've tried everything. Uh, I would like to hear your experience and uh, what you think of medium format or how relevant it is for modern photography today. All right, let me start uh, with a little bit of backstory. Back in the film days, you had to have a medium format camera or even a large format camera for some purposes because the normal 35 millimeter camera, it was simply not good enough for some photography. But today, I think, first of all, today's medium format, to me, they are not even medium format. It's just a little bit oversized full frame. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
Well, the, for, for example, the Fuji medium format, yes. some full frame lenses cover the sensor oh, size. Wow. So it's not that much bigger. And I think it may be, an, you know, necessary for some sort of really high end uh, photography or artists who want to shoot uh, some sort of uh, high end landscape photography or whatever. But I think uh, some of the best full frame cameras also, they are good enough for pretty much everything today, at least based on my experience. Mm. But it's also, it comes also down to your personal preferences. It's not always the sensor size or the image quality. It can also be the way you want to work and mm. the tools that you like to work with. Mm. So if you like medium format, then I guess that's appropriate the tool for you. But I think today, medium format, it's maybe it's not the so uh, uh, like necessary as it was uh, uh, before, <laughs> back in the film days. Back then, it was really, really necessary for many, many uh, shoots. Well, that was really interesting, Mati. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Personally, I really love to have a medium format camera. I want to try one. But to be entirely honest, I cannot afford one. Yeah, they are ridiculously expensive. Yes, with the same amount of money, I can buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> and for what it's worth, what I have now, my whatever cameras that I have, is already sufficient to do what I need to do. So maybe one day, after I manage to earn an obscene <laughs> amount of money doing photography, I'll, then I'll, I'll get I'll the give you some format. I'll give you some sure. tips on that. <laughs> I think we pretty much covered uh, the sensor size question at least for now thanks robin for your comments and um, i think now it's time for some overpriced coffee and it's my treat this time oh <laughs> thank you so much for you, you having can even me have a, you can even have a dessert <laughs> all right and also if you've enjoyed watching this content please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to matthias lantos channel if you want to see more future uh videos of us together bantering or discussing <laughs> any topics on photography and don't forget to buy Matty a cup of coffee. <laughs> Links in description below. Yes, and <laughs> if you don't know who Robin is, then you shouldn't even be watching YouTube. <laughs> Visit Robin's channel also if you don't know him already. I'll put the link down below. Thanks guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, you must visit this river of life. And why river of life? Because this location is where Kuala Lumpur gets its name from. It's the meeting of two rivers, Klang and Gombak River. And if you are here, maybe you'll bump into me making my videos here. This is where I make most of my videos on my YouTube channel. Black and white.